Hey guys, my name is Thilo. In this tutorial, we will learn how to configure HTTP remote commands in the Aura. With the help of the remote HTTP commands, we will be able to control the Aura remotely. For example, via a building management system, a mobile device which is connected in the same network or Wi-Fi, creating a user-defined HTTP interface and many more. As task, we have to add five different HTTP remote commands. We are already in the remote menu of the Aura. To add the first command, we click the plus button. Now we change the settings of the remote event. As event name, we call it start playback. The status we want to activate. The event type we have to change to HTTP. Now we have to set up a desired command. We will call it play. As action we also choose play. Please note the command is the name you can set up and which will be used to call the desired action. To accept the settings, we click the set button. Now we want to create the second command. According to our task, we want to pause the playback. We click the plus button again. As event name, we call it pause, playback. Of course, we have to activate it and we change the event type again to HTTP. The command we call pause. As action, we also choose pause. And as always, to accept the settings, we click the set button. As third command, we want to activate a concrete queue of the Aura queue list. In our task, we will activate queue 6. Therefore, we click the plus button again. In the remote event settings, we change the event name to activate queue 6. The status must be changed to active. The event type to HTTP. As command, we want to call it Q6 and the action will be changed to Q. And now the value type we have to change to a fixed value with the value 6. And now we click set. As fourth command, we want to change the intensity according to the received value. So we click plus. In the remote event settings, we change the name to intensity. Of course, we activate it. The event type must be again HTTP. Command, we want to change it to intensity. And as action, we choose intensity. We don't have to change the value type. The intensity level should be set according to the received values and set. The last command we want to create in this tutorial will be responsible for the speed. For this command, we duplicate the intensity command with the duplicate button. Now we select the last one and we change the remote event settings. As event name, we set up speed. Command we also change to speed. As action, we will choose speed scaled and the value type will also be input value. So we click the set button. Now we can click the HTTP 
link at one of these entries in the list. Now the HTTP remote control list will be opened. With the help of this list, we can test the functions or we can copy this function to the desired application. Now let us test it. For this tutorial, a simple user-defined website was created and we only have to copy the different commands to the corresponding places. After we have copied the different commands, we can test it at this website. Let us start. First of all, we copy only a part, only the IP address. This will be globally used in these functions. And now the different functions. In case of the intensity, we delete the number one at the end because of we want to set up the intensity according to the received value of this user-defined website. The same we have to do for the speed. We also delete this number one at the end. Now we can save the settings. When we now open the user-defined website, we can test the assigned HTTP remote commands. With the help of play, the aura starts playing. With the pause button, the aura pause. With the button Q6, the aura will jump to Q6. With the intensity slider, we can change the intensity to a desired value and with the help of the speed edit, we can change the speed of it. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.